So there's the new cycle I bike around Manhattan in search of good stories. Today going down to the East Village to meet with an ex-con who now teaches prison workout classes. So usually I bike for my workouts, but today we're changing it up. Welcome to prison. <laughs> I used to sit on the milk crate right here and get a milk crate from the bodega and just set up shop. People would come in left and right and just like buy drugs. Nine, eight, seven, nine, nine. Let's go. One, two, three. Basically, we do all body weight training. Um, we work on one specific part of the body and then let the other part of the body rest. So it, it'll catch up and you, feel, you won't feel that soreness in the next workout. You lost 70 pounds doing this? Yeah, yeah. I, I was motivated when uh, doctors in prison told me within five years I could have died of a heart attack. I said I was not gonna die. And came out and made it happen. I rolled out the whole program in a sheet and actually helped over 20 inmates lose over a thousand pounds combined. And the people who come, what type of person do you tend to attract? Our class today was a lot of new people. I work in venture capital. I work in technology marketing. I work at a nonprofit. Guys here, I don't know if any of them have Ponzi schemes going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, this is not like uh, that movie with Will Ferrell. Teach me how to survive in prison the way you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not training people to go to jail. For you, almost having a felony on the resume is a good thing. Uh, yeah, so that's what we encourage when you come in. The whole concept of building this is basically to build a community space where guys who've been formerly incarcerated could have an opportunity for employment. People stereotype because they, don't, they feel scared. Um, I feel like these people are the most trustworthy people, and if you give them a second chance, uh, they'll be so dedicated, and they don't have to hide what they did, you know. I don't want them to glorify it, but I don't want them to be ashamed, you know, of their background. Like, this is what happened, this, you know, and I'm getting over it, and this is what I'm doing today.